First at five, there are numbers that should get the attention of every parent out there. More than three million middle and high school students are using e-cigarettes. That's according to the FDA. But what are the potential health risks associated with e-cigarettes or vaping? Dave Delosier has the story of a landmark study into vaping that's being done by the University of Wisconsin. When I started vaping, really, it felt like nothing was wrong. At age 18, Jonathan Brennelson has been vaping for four years. He started as a freshman in high school. You know, when, you, when you're smoking and when you're vaping, you really don't know, um, you really don't know what's going on in your body fully. He is about to find out. Jonathan is one of 300 participants in the Exhale study. It is a five-year, $3.7 million study being conducted by the UW Center for Tobacco Research and Intervention. In this study, we're following people over a span of two years, and so we're really interested to see what happens. The research will look at the frequency and pattern of use by participants. Blast out as fast as you can. It will also monitor the carbon monoxide in an individual's system. But perhaps the greatest focus will be on the impact vaping has on lung function. Uh, and there's one we don't really know. We, we know smoking, traditional cigarette smoking in the long term is very harmful to people's lungs. You can track that over time. Really don't know much about that in terms of vaping. The hope is that by testing lung function before and after vaping and over the course of two years, a clearer picture will emerge about vaping. Absolutely, yeah. Just having knowledge about some of the effects of vaping, be they positive or negative. We, we don't have any assumptions about that going in. And it will finally let individuals like Jonathan know what health risks vaping does or doesn't pose. Good deal. In Madison, this is Dave Delosier, WISC News 3. The $3.7 million study is being funded by the National Cancer Institute and the FDA. The results of the study will help agencies determine future regulations for vaping.